Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Personalized bear bags. Personalized bear bags, and today's Today's video is all about bear bags. Yeah, because we have a lot of them now. We have a lot of bear bags. It seems like every manufacturer on the planet is coming out with cool Dyneema bear bags now. So hot right now. They're so hot right, so now. Hot right now. And I will say like, uh, you know, a dedicated Dyneema bear bag is pretty cool. Yeah. Of course you could pull like a Syntax and use a grocery bag. Yeah, just, we've done that before. Yeah. You could just go get yourself, a, you know, a Sil Nylon dry bag, whatever works is fine. But if you want to be super cool, you got to have a Dyneema and food bag. And even cooler, one with your freaking face on yeah, it. Yeah, you're not really cool <laughs> unless you have one with your face on it. So before we get into the, the technical <laughs> details here, we really do want to give a solid shout out to uh, Hilltop Packs for reaching out to us and basically asking, uh, hey, can I put your face on some stuff? And <laughs> we're, we're like, like absolutely. Abso absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Uh, so uh, they sent us a bunch of stuff, some bear bags, uh, some rock bags, some carabiners, a bunch of cool stuff. So big shout out to them. Check out Hilltop Packs. We love we love uh, supporting our cottage vendors. Yeah, and this wasn't this wasn't sponsored or thing. This would they no. Just, yeah. He's they're literally he's literally like, do you you want to put your face on some bags? And we're like yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely. <laughs> All right, so. Let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit more about bear bags. Okay, so to begin our story of Dyneema food bags, you've got to go back to a few years ago. Um, we're a bunch of rookies. We don't have a cool Dyneema food bag. So uh, we went ahead and picked up the world famous z food bag. Now, uh, we've had these forever. Yeah, and when we I say have. ever, you know, like, I don't know. Three, three years? Four, three, four years? Something, I don't know. Something like that. Um, this holds 14 liters of food, and so or 14 liters of volume. So it's 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 big. It's, it's big. And let me get the weight for you. Uh, 1.4 ounces with the carabiner. So 1.4 ounces for this for this uh, bag. And it's um, it's a heavier weight Dyneema. We'll put the weight up on, of the Dyneema on the screen here. Um, so we start out with the Z-Pax uh, food bag, which is world famous. Everybody it's knows huge. it. Got a little faint place for a carabiner on it. And then one of the unique things about the Z-Pax uh, food bag mm. is it's got the Velcro closure on it. So the other food bags that we have do not have the Velcro closure. Yeah. So is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? I don't know. Adds to the weight. Adds to the weight. All right, so next up. So um, over the last year and a half, something like that, uh, our buddy Chris at Light AF, he's been just pumping out amazing products. So Chris um, actually uh, put out a great food bag. And he's got two different sizes. Because he's a flat bottom one too. Yeah, yeah, Chris has got the flat bottom food bags. And this is actually, he's got two different sizes. I think, what is this, the Little Bear? Is that what they call yeah, it? Yes, the Little One. Because so, the, the Z-Pax bag is so big. I mean, we put seven days of food in Colorado in that bag. And it's just for most of our trips, which are our two three-nighters, it's just huge. Yeah, and so the funny thing is, so Chris comes out with uh, a few different food bags and then Chris sends us the little bag fair, uh, food bag, uh, which weighs slightly less than the Z-Pax one coming in at 1.2 ounces with the carabiner. A tiny bit lighter um, and then Chris doesn't use the Velcro closure, he just uses a snap. So. Um, and then again, place for your carabiner. All of these food bags are kind of the same concept. Yeah. You kind of see it like Dyneema roll top yeah. with a place for a carabiner yeah. to hang. So, um, so uh, yeah, so we've been using the light AF ones for probably a uh, year and a half, a year and a half, something like that, whenever we got these. Um, and and the, I like the, the flat bottom food bag. I do like that. Yeah. And then additionally, I like to, uh, I also keep my stove in my food bag a lot of times. So the extra volume, the volume of the Z-Packs and the Light AF is nice. But it doesn't have our face on it. But it doesn't have our face on it. <laughs> so um, obviously we got two sizes of food bag from Hilltop Packs. So the ones hang on the trees behind us and uh, we've got some B-roll right up here. I'll show you of them on the ground. And then kind of like a smaller uh, overnight style bag, which I'm really intrigued by for just overnighters. It's really tiny. It's, it's good. Yeah, I mean, if you're weekend warriors like us, this is probably the perfect This might size. be the only thing you need. I mean, you can easily put one or two days of food in this thing. Yeah, I mean, some some differences between this, just if you if you don't take account the cool printing on it, some differences is pretty cool. no flat bottom on this, but I mean, everything kind of just crinkles and sits on the ground yeah. anyways. Um, 
It does feel, I, I forget the weight Dyneema on this. We'll put it up on the screen. Um, it's got a cool red yeah, this piece is, of I like, uh, nylon. I like, you pointed this out earlier. I like this. Uh, it, it makes it easier to find in the trees. Um, so it, it contrasts a little bit more. So like potentially that. in the morning when you're stumbling around trying to find your food bag, it might be a little bit easier. Or uh, you just look for our face or you up just, in the trees. Yeah, you just look for the face. He, uh, he does do custom printing on the bags. Oh, so okay. uh, if you want like some logo on there, or, and he has some like funny ones too, but he does do custom printing on Dyneema, which is very cool. Um, so you can get whatever you want on here. Yeah, and these are, with the carabiner, these are 0.8 ounces. 0.8 ounces. So, so half an ounce uh, lighter than some of the other ones. Yeah. That's so, pretty significant. Yeah, I mean, I think that, I think for your for your weekend warriors, uh, this is like the perfect size and it makes it easy to hang with your carabiner attachment. Um, so that's really cool. And obviously the printing's awesome. And then behind us, we've got the the mother of all food bags. The big boys. The, the, I mean, I seriously think you, these could, are huge. you could put two weeks of food in these things. Um, I don't know that would weigh so much, um, but they are, they come in surprisingly at 1.3 ounces with carabiners. So, so they're, are they lighter than the Z-Packs? Uh, I'm just going to say that the Z-Packs, the Light AF, and then this Hilltop ones, they're all about the same weight. They're within like 0.1 ounces. Yeah, they're all other. about the same weight. The largest volume by far is what's behind us hanging. So um, tremendous volume if you're, if you're into it. But like I think most people would agree, seven, five to seven days of food in, in your pack, that's about as maximum right. weight that you want right. to do. But the volume capacity of these food bags is tremendous. Um, so then, that begs the that begs the famous question of which food bag is best? Which food bag is the best? And it, it's ju it's just depends on who you talk to. It depends as with everything. Like we always get people reaching out to us on Instagram or mm -hmm. YouTube comments saying, well, which one will you choose? And you know what? We're lucky because we're in a position where we don't have to choose. We've got four. <laughs> we don't have to choose. Um, there's positives and negatives for, for each one. Um, I would say, uh, I, do, I do think I like this one. I maybe I'm biased because my face is on it. I like this one more than the Z-Pax one. Why is that? I don't like the Velcro and it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you're into the vel. Like some people may like the Velcro closure on their food bag. Um, it's getting rolled, so I don't really care. Yeah, and it does add some weight. So I will say between the Z pack, if you're looking for the big freaking bag, I would pick this one over this one. But maybe it's just because my face is on it. Yeah. Um, I will say that most people, us included, don't need a bear bag this big. Yes. <laughs> Um, in fact, you probably don't need a bear bag as big as the Light AF one. Um, if you're just a weekend warrior, I mean, consider something like tiny like this. Yeah. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, this is very cool. Uh, and, and like nobody makes a tiny bear bag. Yeah. They don't. No, I mean, no. this is the, the Light AF one was the smallest one we could find. Yeah. And I, and I was telling Kevin earlier, if I had to choose one bear bag to rule them all one, right now, one bear bag. Right now, I think weight and volume wise, if I just had to have one, it's gonna be the Light AF one. Interesting. Uh, interesting one, but I mean, it's pretty freaking cool having your face on a bear bag. Having and, your and face on the bear bag does make it just much more like, make me wanna use yeah, it. Yeah, but, but since we get to choose, I think it's really cool to have this smaller one and uh, this tremendous, you, you know how many bags of Doritos we can fit in this? <laughs> But I, I do think like it is nice to have a bag this size because I can do t I can do a full weekend in this bag. Oh yeah, easily. Easily. Yeah. Uh, and, and like the, the light AF and the Z packs are just overkill for a two day trip. They yeah. they really are. Yeah. Um, so the answer is if you're a weekend warrior and you're never going out for more than two nights, probably, maybe three, you probably check out tiny the tiny one. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. It's 0.8 ounces, so it's little. Yeah. Um, and then if, if you're someone who's like getting up for, to go for a through hike or something, maybe consider one of the bigger ones. Like if you're gonna go six, seven days without resupplying. Um, and then if you're someone who wants the best of both worlds, consider the Light AF one, because it's a little bit smaller than, than this one, bigger than the little like yeah. little guy. 
um, and it weighs, it doesn't weigh that, it weighs slightly less than the Z-Packs. Yeah, and it's weird because all the, Z, the Z-Packs, the Light AF and the Hilltop one, they're all gonna be right around the same weights and price is gonna be pretty comparable as yeah. well. Now obviously if you're probably doing some pretty cool printing like this. It's gonna, gonna cost money. It's gonna cost money, but I mean, small price to pay to have your face on a food bag. Yeah, I could see some really fun like gag gifts or something coming out like this. We could make pinatas with yeah. these. Yeah, at least when the bear is like attacking your food <laughs> yeah. bag. They'll have to look you into your to, eyes. They'll have to look into my eyes. <laughs> so honestly, it's, I mean, when you break it down to it, it's a, Dy it's a Dyneema roll top bag. A lot of people make them. They're all over the place and it's a food bag. So you can use a lot of different things for a food bag, but it is cool having a dedicated food bag that's waterproof as well mm -hmm. when you roll it down. Um, and it's cool that it has an attachment for a carabiner so it's easy to hang. So, uh, you know. I'll tell you on my next trip, the face bag is coming. Oh, face bags are face coming. Face bag is coming. I love the term face bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you make your own decision on what you feel is 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 what you would benefit from the most. Um, this is just kind of our thoughts. And again, not, you know, just because we think a way doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. But we have the luxury of having multiple ones, so it's we don't have to choose. And we've been getting a lot of questions about all the different bear bags we use, so we wanted to create this video. Just give you guys an overview. And uh, there, there you go, face bags. Face bags. Nice.